Ladies and gentlemen, the General Conference has thus voted to adopt the draft resolution and decided to admit Palestine as member of UNESCO. In Paris, supporters of the Palestinian bid for UNESCO membership celebrated the vote. But in Washington, there was immediate confirmation that U.S. financial support for UNESCO will now be immediately curtailed. The Obama administration says the Palestinians should only be granted membership of the United Nations and its member organizations as part of a comprehensive peace agreement in the Middle East. And so UNESCO now stands to lose around a quarter of its annual budget. Today's vote by the member states of UNESCO to admit Palestine as a member is regrettable, premature, and undermines our shared goal of a comprehensive, just, and lasting peace in the Middle East. The United States remains steadfast in its support for the establishment of an independent and sovereign Palestinian state. But such a state can only be realized through direct negotiations between the Israelis and the Palestinians. The White House was at pains to point out that it continues to support the goals and activities of UNESCO, which, among other things, designates world heritage sites around the globe and promotes scientific and educational development. But the laws of the United States are clear. Legislation dating back more than 15 years stipulates a total cut in funding for any UN body that offers membership to the Palestinians. So a $60 million check to UNESCO due this month will not now be written. And analysts say if other UN bodies follow suit, the U.S. will defund them as well. Well, I think the snowball effect uh, is something that the U.S. is trying to stop. Uh, by cutting off funding to UNESCO, it's sending a signal to the other UN agencies that they can't um, admit Palestine without facing significant financial consequences. The United States only rejoined UNESCO in 2003 after an 18-year absence prompted by former President Ronald Reagan's suspicion that the organization was a bastion of global liberalism. And while UNESCO now stands to lose a quarter of its funding, the organization has survived without American money before and must now learn to do so again. Simon Marks, Channel News Asia, Washington.